Hello, and welcome to another screencast from eDesign 360. This is your host, Ames Brown, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off last time uh, related to setting up uh, WordPress uh, on your site. Uh, what we see here is uh, the classic uh, screen, that uh, uh, theme uh, layout that appears when WordPress first installs, and uh, this is a test installation on our eDesign 360 site. Um, so uh, once we uh, scroll down on the right and click our login, uh, we will be placed into the dashboard. <clears throat> so uh, if we uh, look at our current posts here, uh, we'll see that uh, you, you start off with an initial hello world. And if we look at our pages, you'll see that we start off here with a sample page. And so uh, we'll start off and uh, just uh, work off that initial page and edit it. And so the title's up here. And uh, we might have uh, the vision of your site, the mission of your site. So I'm going to uh, uh, call this mission. And uh, because I'm demonstrating here, I'm not really focusing on the content, but more on the uh, process and design, I'm going to use a site uh, called Lorem uh, Ipsum. Uh, which uh, generates a uh, classic uh, uh, fake Latin uh, filler text. And you come down here on the Ellipson uh, site, and you can designate how many paragraphs of filler text uh, you want. And right by default, it has five. I'm just going to say generate Lorem Ipsum. And there I have five paragraphs of text generated for me. And this. Come over here, and I'll uh, copy that. I'll come back to my uh, mission here, and uh, select everything, uh, and let's put that in. So now I've got some uh, filler text, and I'll update it. Clicking the update button. And uh, you could then go and uh, view your page to see how it's looking right here. I'm just going to be showing you a technique where I keep my dashboard open in one tab, and I keep my live site open in another. And uh, then I'll just reload this here. And so now you can see this changed uh, to mission my menu when I click on that. Yeah, there's all that nice filler text we saw there. Uh, so uh, let's go and look at the uh, first uh, blog entry that was put in here. Uh, you could uh, delete that and just start your, your first blog entry your, yourself, or you could just retask uh, that blog entry. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to come back to my dashboard here, and I'm going to go to my posts. And I'm going to click on Hello World, edit it, and uh, uh, I'll just call this uh, uh, Design Principles for Education. And I've still got that uh, Lorem Ipsum filler text in my clipboard. I'll just paste that in there. And I'll update. Uh, come back here and uh, re that tab, refresh. And there you can see that uh, the blog entry has been updated. And over here again, that's my page, right? That's the first page I have. And this is the first uh, blog entry I have. 
Uh, now, you'll notice down here that I uh, have uh, one comment. And uh, Mr. WordPress says, well, that was just to uh, illustrate for you when uh, you first uh, installed WordPress how commenting works. And so uh, we're going to uh, enable uh, commenting, but we're going to add a, uh, an, a plugin that helps to protect uh, our uh, uh, as we as we get social networking going to protect uh, from uh, commenting by autobots that troll uh, the uh, net these nasty little bots that do spam postings uh, not a human being just a computer program so uh, we're going to install uh, a plugin and so we're going to come back here uh, and we're going to go to uh, our plugin section, and uh, let's see, we have an uh, add new plugin here. And uh, what we're going to do, I'll just show you first here, uh, is we're going to install the C Captcha anti spam plugin. And what that does is uh, it puts uh, an automated image, it changes all the time, and uh, You've probably seen this before on other sites. Uh, so, uh, you know, before somebody can submit a comment, uh, they have to uh, read that. This would be GPSF and type it in the CAPTCHA code field, uh, and then they can submit. Uh, so uh, that you know helps to protect uh, your uh, the social networking commenting uh, from uh, those nasty autobots that. Uh, uh, spammers like to use. All right, so um, come over here and uh, see CAPTCHA search plugins, and uh, here it is right here, SI CAPTCHA. And I'll say install now. Okay. And we'll activate it. Okay, so uh, there are a number of settings that uh, can be uh, uh, adjusted. Uh, the settings are very nice, uh, except uh, that uh, you, as the author on your site, uh, will not see the CAPTCHA uh, because it says hide CAPTCHA for registered users here. So I'm just going to uh, take that off just so for demonstration purposes, but uh, you can leave that uh, on. Uh, but I want you to be able to see while I'm logged in that uh, what uh, CAPTCHA is. So I'm uh, just going to update options here. And uh, I'll come back and uh, I will uh, reload. So now when I uh, come down here uh, and I want to uh, post a comment, uh, you'll see that I've got an initial capture code. And if I can't read that, I, I you know, I can make that out. C A 8S, well, I'm not sure. Eh, let me get another capture code. Uh, uh, that's a lot easier to read. Okay, T E M 3, and then I would put in T E M 3, uh, and then I could post my comment. Uh, so, uh, Readable by human beings and not readable by computers. So that's the principle on uh, the CAPTCHA plugin. So you now have your first uh, plugin installed. And uh, so uh, the other thing is that uh, when you post, uh, it's nice to have a uh, an avatar image that follows uh, along with you. Uh, so that, uh, uh, let's just take a look again here. Uh, if you look down here, you see there is Mr. WordPress, uh, just a uh, generic uh, profile image there. But wouldn't that be nice if uh, when you post, uh, uh, when responding to folks on your uh, blog, or when you post comments on other people's blogs, that you actually have a nice avatar image. So uh, you can go to gravatar.com and uh, you can uh, log in on Gravatar. Uh, you can register, uh, create an account, 
and uh, then you can uh, add a, uh, a profile. Uh, this becomes your little avatar image that's called uh, a gravatar. Uh, and what Gravatar as a site does is allow your image, based upon your email address, uh, to follow along with you whenever you uh, post on uh, different uh, blogging sites. And uh, so Gravi the Gravatar uh, image profile is compatible with many different blogging platforms, not just WordPress. Okay, so uh, those are some issues now uh, that are uh, addressed related to uh, setting up your blogging and setting up your uh, commenting. Uh, let's just look at a few more related to both uh, posts in your blog and uh, also pages uh, in terms of editing. So uh, we'll uh, we'll take a look at uh, our first little post here and edit uh, design principles and uh, let's suppose I want to put uh, a YouTube uh, video in well uh, if we uh, look down at our media settings we will see something very nice in uh, WordPress uh, 3.1 and that's automatically selected for you when you installed uh, embeds, auto embeds. When possible, embed the media content from URL directly on the page, uh, such as with YouTube. So that's already set for you uh, from when you installed. And let's see what that does. Uh, it now makes uh, embedding uh, YouTube videos uh, extremely easy. So we'll go back to posts and uh, edit. And I decided, hmm, I want to put in uh, a YouTube video right here and have it appear. So uh, I'll just take this uh, YouTube from our last uh, screencast, and I'll come down here to the share and just uh, grab the link. And uh, I'll come back and paste it in and I'll update. Okay, so we can see where the uh, YouTube video is going to appear, uh, but in our editor we don't see it. We have to actually view the post to see that the video is there. Uh, but, you know, then you'll know, oh, I have a video in there, and it's going to show up very nicely. And so uh, we'll come over here, and we'll reload. And now you can see that right after that first paragraph, here's that nice video. So very, very easy to uh, install, uh, embed uh, YouTube uh, videos in your uh, articles now. It doesn't involve having to put in an embed code like you used to have to do uh, just a, a short time back. So uh, good luck with your uh, start on blogging. Uh, this has been eDesign360. Catch you again in another screencast.